Hey guys, how's it going? I like to mow here. And today, um, I want to do a bit better video than I did last time of the enclosed trailer setup. Um, just to uh, show you all some of the new um, pieces of equipment I have, as well as just show you how we have the enclosed trailer um, uh, organized. And I just cleaned it out last night, so it's nice and clean. So, hop over here real quick. Uh, to begin, we have a Pass 225 with the mid-reach hedge trimmer, which they, uh, Echo just recently came out with. Um, we have another Pass 225 here. Let's see if this door is going to stay open. Maybe not. Okay, so we have another Pass 225 with a, an edger attachment on it. Um, I also have my uh, uh, PE-266, which still gets used quite a bit because now we have two edgers, so we use um, two edgers for most stuff. Um, just because we have a lot of, a lot of our properties have a lot of edging to do, so having two edgers is nice because when um, someone finishes string trimming, they can just go ahead and jump on the other edger and um, take care of it. Uh, and then down here, you can sort of see it, um, on the bottom here is a uh, Shindawa T262, which is basically the Pro Extreme version on the Shindawa model line. Um, over here I have my Pro Extreme 2620, which has been a great trimmer so far. As you can see, no guard on it. I prefer no guard on my trimmers. Um, then over here we got my other Pass 230 with the articulated hedge trimmer on it. I use that mid-reach mid -reach hedge trimmer a hell of a lot more than uh, this Pass uh, articulated one. Just because it's um, lighter, more maneuverable, all that good stuff. Then of course I have an FS90R up here as well. Um, uh, leaf blowers wise, I have Husqvarna 580, BR600 Magnum, handheld blower is an Echo ES250. And that um, all these blowers are great blowers. I use them all the time. We use them pretty much at every job. Um, then of course we have the We've hung up some more stuff in here now, so it's not just on the floor. Um, but I've got two SG20s up here. And this is all on the E-Track stuff, which really works well. I mean, it's not locking, of course, but these are the trimmer racks that you have to sell. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, I still got my aluminum blocks on the um, equipment for the green touch racks. But, um, yeah, these work out well, I mean, can't complain about them. Uh, down here I have my CS271. Um, I always carry that with me in case I need to cut up a branch here and there or whatever. Um, oh yeah, and I got my measuring wheel down here for uh, measuring mulch jobs, which I have three quotes to do at some point. So now let's get into the mowers that we have. So we've got an Xmark Commercial 30, which is a fantastic mower. And then of course I have my Xmark Laser Z here, a 48 inch. And this mower has, let's see how many hours, 106.8 hours on it. I just did the oil change on it, 100 hours, 100, 100 two hours or something. can't remember off the top of my head, but I know I just did it about five or six hours ago. And this mower's been getting uh, a lot of use lately. Of course, I do have the uh, Xmark chute blocker on it with the foot pedal, which I like. only downside to that, though, is that you have to, like, if you want to actually hold it shut all the way, you have to really push on the pedal hard because this being soft, kind of tends to blow out a little bit from the airflow from the deck. 
so um that's the only downside to it. If I was to get another shoot blocker I'd probably get a um advanced shoot system from it's the bad boy one that they make. Um I think that'd be probably better but I can't complain about this one. I like the foot pedal control though, because I don't have to. Then I can just use my foot to control it rather than having to take my hands off the bars. Um, so yeah, guys, that's about it. This is the setup for now. Um, I might be buying another enclosed trailer. This is my friend Ricky's trailer, but uh, might be buying my own. Probably get like a seven by sixteen or something tandem axle just to have more bit more space in here to carry equipment because as you can see it's it's tight like the mower barely fits in here so it works for what we need now but ultimately I'll probably buy another trailer um we have been able to fit two zero turns in here though because um my friend Ricky he used to he sold his bobcat now but he had a bobcat CRZ and he can back that in here into the Vino's and put the engine guard up against the wall. Then I can back this mower in and then turn the casters so they are um, parallel with the back door. And then the door closes. So we can fit two mowers in here, but it's tight. And that's all you can fit in here. So, yeah, guys, that's about it. Um, I do have some other mowers that I've gotten or acquired in the last month or so. They're out at the shop right now, so I will show you all those when I'm out there sometime. Um, so anyways, just wanted to show you all in daylight what the, uh, enclosed trailer looks like. And this is a red trailer. Just put new tires on it with the black rims. And it's a, uh, diamond cargo. Had a little oopsie here. The, uh, hitch went through the rock guard. That's another story, though. I didn't, that wasn't me doing that, but that was Ricky. And I'll tell you all about that later. Um, so, anyways, I'll talk to you all later, and hope you all enjoyed the video.